ready to race ball is on Green lights and we go racing. Good start from David Bell off the outside of the front row. Not bad at all from Martin Hawks. Adrian Turner not getting away so well as they come in towards the first corner then. But uh, David Bell then leads the way, followed by Martin Hawks. Not too close, uh, not too far adrift between them. But uh, Adrian Turner, despite that poor start, actually managed to make up that time he lost through Chesson's Drift. And now the top three running nose to tail as it stands. Yeah, both of the leaders are previous winners of the two-wheel drive BMW Mini Championship. And they're really sort of the driving forces behind this all for four-wheel drive category which uses the mini countryman which we've seen in sort of the world championship before but it's uh, aimed at budget level club racers who want to go four-wheel drive racing but might not have the budget to go into higher levels so it's four-wheel drive category that the organizers hope will go from strength to strength it has to start somewhere and we've got three entries on the circuit at the moment but we've got a moment for adrian turner who has a scary ride through the chicane got all out of shape going through the very fast very brave bit of the Lyndon hill circuit and adrian turner had a fairly wild moment through the chicane that takes us down to the two really in contention for the race lead david bell in the bell running cross team 93 car and martin hawks both of them former champs and david bell a former champion in the two-wheel drive minis as recently as last year and i think i saw him saying before the event that he sort of wishes he was in the two-wheel drive category this weekend because it's so well supported but he wants to get this up and off the ground and this four-wheel drive category is they hope uh, a good entry point for drivers looking to use a four-wheel drive car in the British Championship. Certainly so, and we're keen to see how these drivers are going to fare over the course of this one, and hopefully as the season progresses onwards, uh, we'll have a bigger entry number as well. So David Bell goes into the Joker. That allows Martin Hawks to take over at the front of this race in the number 35. Uh, Manages to get himself out ahead of Adrian Turner, who, of course, as we know, jokered uh, on that... I uh, did not joker, rather, I should say, on the opening lap, but... Uh, Let's see what is going to uh, happen then here with these drivers. So, Martin Hawks now leads the way. He's got a good advantage over David Bell in second position, but is he going to be able to find his way through? That is the crucial question. Yeah, the cars have had a lot of transmission issues in testing, so they've been testing a little before the season starts, and they just had you know, quite severe transmission issues, which really affected the testing period. But they've worked. You think back across the course of the day today, all been reliable, mm. all three cars. So the David Bell and Martin Hawks will be particularly pleased with that as the race leader goes into the joker lap. So will David Bell be able to take top spot back? He will. Yes, here comes David Bell then. Snatches the lead away. Adrian Turner hasn't jokered yet. So it's a real artificial second place for Adrian Turner in second spot. He did have a sort of a style of joker lap when he lost a lot of time at the chicane. So he's got will fall down the order when that longer route is played out but it's david bell son of former supercar star tony bell who leads the all four minis for their first ever final at the home of the sport yep down in towards the paddock bend they go then so david bell with a clear track advantage at the moment and followed by martin hawks then or effectively by Martin Hawks because of course Adrian Turner has got to do that joker lap in a few moments time on to the penultimate lap as Turner goes in to do that joker that frees up Martin Hawks in second position and uh, just allows him to have a bit of clear track in front of him to see where David Bell is of course uh, not necessarily the closest fault race that we've seen all day so far here but uh, nonetheless good to see these cars being out and represented here at Lyndon Hill as they come out of uh, Chester Drift and then we look over to David Bell leading the way followed by uh, Martin Hawks into the top of the uh, into the top of the hairpin then a little bit of a wider line there for Martin Hawks seems to be something that he favours taking a bit more corner speed a bit more understeer in his car yeah the Marty experienced campaigner in British running cross super national driver before switching across to BMW Minis, where he's been a, a good supporter of the BM, the two-wheel drive R53 class, and now this new four-wheel drive category, which is new to the scene. The cars were running with the two-wheel drive runners in uh, Q1, Q2, and Q3, but they've been split up for the finals. We are now on to the final lap, and Martin Hawks is trying to throw what he can at David.
David Bell, the race leader. Did Bell make a mistake over that last half a lap? Because suddenly, Martin Porks is closing. And who will get the bragging rights then in the first ever round of the all four mini four-wheel drive category? It looks to be David Bell. And he's going to come up to Paddock for the final time to lead home former champion in the two-wheel drive class, Martin Hawks. Nicely done there for David Bell. Over the timeline he comes to claim the chequered flag ahead of Martin Hawks then, so the all-four mini final.